How can you instantly look younger? Well, people have been trying to figure this out for thousands of years. And the original science of not only living long, but living well has been traditional Chinese medicine. The Far East has been obsessed with longevity and anti-aging since the dawn of time. I'll never forget an experience I had visiting the rural Philippines about five years ago. I was fascinated to see these ads all over television and all over billboards and these various TV shows about how to whiten your face with whitening creams, how to actually do surgeries to get taller and all kinds of unusual medications and surgeries and procedures that I'd never seen in the US. And in the Philippines, people were obsessed with to look younger forever. Now in this video, I wanna talk about aging and longevity from a traditional Chinese medicine point of view, and specifically what you can do to minimize aging and look young as possible forever. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Alex Hine, board licensed acupuncturist and doctor of acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine and author of the health book, Master of the Day. Let's get in. Now the fundamental question first and foremost is, why do we age and why do we prematurely age? Because when we're talking about looking young forever, we're really talking about delaying the aging process. Well, let's go back to our very fundamental text in traditional Chinese medicine, the Yellow Emperor's Inner Classic, because the very first chapter is presumably the most important chapter. And it's basically talking about how these sages of high antiquity, how they lived to this long life of 100 years, still in quite good health, and why people today at 50 are already prematurely old and prematurely gray, and what we can do about it. Now, let's Let's go over to this translation by Paul Unschuld. Now in this dialogue between this mythical yellow emperor and his chief physician, Chi Bua, they say, I've heard that the people of high antiquity in the sequence of spring and autumn all exceeded 100 years, but in their movements and activities, there was no weakening. And as for the people of today, after one half of 100 years, AKA 50, the movements and activities of them all weakened. Is this because the times are different or is this because the people have lost this ability? And then he goes on to explain a little bit more. He says, their eating and drinking was moderate. Their rising and resting had regularity. They did not tax themselves with meaningless work. Hence, they were able to keep their physical appearance, aka their body, and their spirit together. Now, this chapter begins to elaborate on how people overwork and they have irregular lifestyles and they're driven too much by their desires and so the heart and the spirit is not at peace. And so they say, the sage, in comparison, hence, the mind is relaxed and one has few desires. The heart is at peace and one is not in fear. The physical appearance is taxed but is not tired. Now, why is this important and what does this have to do with looking young forever? The same factors that lead to aging are the ones that lead to prematurely aging. And if you can understand what factors lead to longevity and lead to great quality of life, you'll know exactly what to do to look young forever as long as physically possible. So what can we do to look young or stay young as long as possible? When I talk with patients, primarily women, concerned with their hair, their skin, their nails, and their weight, what we're talking about often in traditional Chinese medicine is what we call the blood. So the blood is really a concept in traditional Chinese medicine, and it describes hormones, it describes circulation, it also describes the offshoot of the blood, that we call the hair, the skin, and the nails. So those are all really offshoots of what we say is the status of the blood. So we say the hair is the surplus of the blood. So for example, conditions that lead to a depletion of the blood will lead to premature graying, premature hair loss, thinning hair, brittle nails, or dry and prematurely aged skin. But what can we actually do about that? So the way I describe it to my patients is that the blood is like the engine oil of the body, right? If you're driving your car too hard, push, 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 revving the engine, driving, no time for it to cool down, you use up the oil, right? Which is why you have to do an oil change, whatever, every six months. But if you don't do an oil change and you leave the car running without engine oil, it becomes hot, there can be damage to your car, or it creaks, it makes noises like creaky joints, the oil lubricates things. And if you want skin that doesn't look wrinkly, if you want eyes that don't look exhausted, if you want hair that's lush, and that's full. In particular, we talk about what makes people look old. Like when you look at somebody's face, what makes them look old versus young? Wrinkles, baggy eyes, premature graying, all of these things are dependent on the status of the blood in traditional Chinese medicine. So let's talk about what you can actually do for that. Now, from my point of view, of course, there is a living a healthy lifestyle, which is hard and is something that can really help you obviously minimize aging. With patients in my practice, we often use blood building formulas that have been used for thousands of years to promote longevity, but also also help with slowing down the rate of aging, skin and wrinkles and the hair. Now I work with a limited number of new patients every single month in my clinic in Los Angeles or virtually via telemedicine. So if you guys wanna reach out and work with me one-to-one, -one, I've included info for my clinic right below the video. You can also go to dralexheim.com forward slash clinic as well if you wanna chat. Now let's talk about four lifestyle practices that you can do for the blood. The first story I want to give is of the archetype, the prematurely gray CEO, because this dictates, this is a quintessential example of 
of all of the lifestyle practices not in alignment with longevity, right? When you think of the prematurely gray CEO, this is a great lesson because they can be 35 and fully gray. They look exhausted. They're often overweight. They look prematurely wrinkled, like their skin is dried out. And in general, this kind of aspect is exactly what our ancient doctor ancestors were trying to warn us of. If you push, utilizing your mind, you push yourself beyond your resources, you will cause the depletion of what we call the yang qi, your resources, and ultimately the blood after that. So it's like when you're push, 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 pushing, you can tolerate that stress for a while. But after three years, four years, you start not sleeping well. When you start not sleeping well, you really are going to rapidly begin aging because you're missing the number one way that we regenerate our resources and we restore memories, hormones, recovery from injuries, regulating of even hunger hormones, which is your sleep, your yin time in Chinese medicine. So the prematurely gray CEO, he or she's pushing, 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 exhausting the resources, sleeping five or six hours a day, whether because they're trying to to get ahead or because their nervous system is so shot they can't sleep, which is very common. I've seen quite a few, they're all on sleeping pills and antidepressants. And so they rapidly prematurely age. And as they push that engine harder, 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 not enough rest, not enough time off work, depending on their habits, they rapidly begin exhausting that battery charge. And one of the aspects of the battery charge is depletion of the yin, the engine oil. And when that happens, that is where rapid aging happens in a short period of time. That's the friend you've seen in a five-year window from 36 to 41, gets fully gray, looks exhausted and unhealthy. You can see the weariness in their eyes. So don't do what the CEO does because that will rapidly age you more than just about anything. So lifestyle practice number two is nourishing yin is the main way to look young. Nourishing yin is both a concept and a clinical strategy within traditional Chinese medicine. Yin means we use yin herbs that are traditional blood builders. Like I can write you a formula. If you have dry skin, that will moisturize your skin and your palms will not be dry and your dandruff will go away. That is a yin building strategy, moisturizing herbs that help with hormone regulation and that kind of thing. But nourishing yin is also a lifestyle strategy. Yang is output in life. Yin is resting, gathering, reserve sleeping, meditation, activities that light you up and don't deplete your reserves, taking time away from work, taking time for rest and for vacation. All of these yin building activities are really essential activities to help you gather your resources. Now the third strategy is sleep. Now sleep is the main way in Chinese medicine we generate yin, while exercise is the way we generate yang. So when I say that, yin is your ability to be rested and feel calm. Yang is your ability to generate output. So that's why people who are very physically active, they're strong, right? they can withstand lots of physical stress and even a lot of nervous system stress, right? They have a greater stress tolerance and they often will sleep better too. But yin is what's essential for anti-aging as well as the yang aspect because physical exercise generates better circulation, regulates your immune system, regulates hormones, is great for stress, stress hormones. But trying to revolve your entire life around good sleep is one of the essential strategies for living long and looking young. Sometimes you see someone at a certain age and you're like, how do you look so young? And it's that their anal retention about getting their eight hours of sleep per night. And that is a very, very good clinical strategy that is unsexy and is boring and can sometimes be hard to do, but is the best way to generate yin, which is the engine oil, which is those reserves. It's also one of the best ways to help your nervous system be in a coherent, regulated state. The fourth strategy for building yin is really, when we talk about traditional diets that are blood building, dark leafy greens, sort of foods high in iron, like animal products at a reasonable amount, foods high in omega-3 fatty acids, good oils like olive oil, all of these things are very, very helpful to build the yin. We call these blood building herbs. Like for women that are anemic, you typically recommend animal products, organ meats if they can tolerate it, dark leafy greens, kale, Swiss chard. And these are the things that are the traditional dietetic advice for blood building. So focusing on dark leafy greens, good animal protein sources, omega-3 fatty acids, healthy oils, etc., are good yin building foods. Obviously for a lot of people that have dryness, certain kinds of fats are very, very beneficial for the skin, for the hair, for the nails, that sort of thing. But these four practices are something that can give you an overview of how to live and look really as youthful as possible. Now, some of these practices are what I've put into this brand new online program, Introduction to Healing with Traditional Chinese Medicine. I figured instead of having this channel full of a bunch of random sponsors for supplements and herb companies that I probably don't believe in anyway, I've launched a brand new thing called the Healing Library, which is a series of online programs on how to heal yourself with traditional Chinese medicine. There's a link right below this video in the description for checking out this course, Intro to Healing with Chinese Medicine. And it really is the fun fundamental concepts you need to know for why we get sick, how to live long, and what are the fundamental practices you really need to be doing if you really want to live well. And if you really want to look young for a long period of time and feel young, more importantly, then these are the things you should do every day. So you guys can check it out. There's a link below. But before you go, I've also put together some of the key longevity practices in a very similar video for you right here.